So in today's video, I will be answering all of your questions on stimulus checks, social security, and unemployment. Thank you everyone for being here today. So the questions I will be answering is, when will Congress finally pass a fourth stimulus check? And will Americans receive a one-time stimulus payment or recurring monthly checks? Alrighty, everyone. So stimulus checks have injected about $850 billion in financial support to Americans over this past year. But it is very clear that millions of Americans still need financial support to survive during this crisis. In March 2021, the national unemployment level of the United States stood at about nearly 10 million unemployed people. This past Thursday, the U.S. Labor Department said that the number of Americans applying for unemployment benefits decreased last week to 576,000. Many economists are pressuring lawmakers in Congress into including a fourth round of stimulus checks into President Joe Biden's new infrastructure plan. A total of about 17 million people are still collecting unemployment benefits right now. Some say that another stimulus check would deter Americans from going back to work. So what are your thoughts on this, everyone? Please leave them in the comment section below. I believe that this crisis has definitely and harshly impacted a large number of Americans. The Economic Security Project, a proponent of guaranteed income, is urging our lawmakers to pass more direct payments to help fuel the U.S. economy's recovery. The government has sent about $376 billion worth of third stimulus checks. Adam Rubin, the campaign director at the Economic Security Project, recently stated, We need at least one more check. New surveys have shown that most Americans plan to use their $1,400 third stimulus payments on monthly expenses, day-to-day -day essentials, and paying down debt. The majority of respondents to a recent survey said that the stimulus money would last less than three months, if even that long. According to the Economic Security Project's new report, the past three rounds of stimulus checks have helped to raise income by 20% for the lowest income households, which is really amazing. The third stimulus payments will reportedly keep 11 million people out of poverty this year. The new expanded unemployment benefits will help keep less than 4 million people from poverty. The report also stated, evidence from last year shows stimulus checks to be the fastest and most impactful investments helping Americans get through this crisis, lifting more people out of poverty than any other single policy. The Economic Security Project is calling for additional direct payments targeted at those who need the help the most. Our lawmakers have already stated that they want to make sure that stimulus payments go to those that need it the most. The group is also calling for improvements to the system to make it so that those payments reach eligible people automatically. This crisis is far from over. That is why lawmakers need to take immediate action to provide additional relief to millions of Americans. A group of Democratic senators have already sent a letter to President Joe Biden requesting recurring direct payments and automatic unemployment insurance extensions tied to this economic condition. Multiple lawmakers have urged President Biden to include monthly stimulus checks on Twitter. I'm happy that more and more lawmakers are coming forward in support of another stimulus payment for Americans. Unfortunately, millions of households are far from where they started last year. Over 10 million people have fallen behind on their rent, including 20% of renters with children in their household. And millions of more are struggling to pay the mortgage. Close to 30% of adults reportedly having some difficulty keeping up with expenses. It is very saddening how the federal eviction moratorium that is currently in effect doesn't forgive rent owed. It just pushes a debt into the future. Remember that if you are a parent, you are eligible to receive additional cash payments very soon. Checks are slated to go out to parents starting this July with implementation of the Enhanced Child Tax Credit. The Economic Security Project is also calling for expansion of that credit, as well as the Earned Income Tax Credit, to be made permanent. The Internal Revenue Service Commissioner has it confirmed that the agency expects to launch its portal for that credit on July 1st, despite concern about the challenges that the IRS would face implementing a program so quickly after the passage of the American Rescue Plan. According to the Biden administration, the expanded child tax credit will help millions of children come out of poverty. Millions of parents will start to receive payments up to $250 for each older child 
or up to $300 for each younger child from July through December 2021. The other half will come to parents when they file their 2021 tax return. The expanded credit is worth up to $3,000 for each child aged 6 to 17 and up to $3,600 for children ages 5 and under. So that is a lot of money. Single parents are eligible to receive the full credit if they earn up to $75,000 per year. Married parents who file a joint return and earn up to $150,000 a year also get the full amount. Thank you, Isabel. Um, what you and your staff have done continues to be acts of heroism. It's heroic. The care you provide makes it possible for parents to work knowing that their children are safe and that they're loved. It's an incredible gift that you give. So thank you, thank you, and to all the child care providers. So today we are announcing the single largest investment in child care in our nation's history. The single largest investment in child care in our nation's history. This investment is part of the American Rescue Plan, which the president signed into law just over one month ago. And before I talk about this investment, the president has asked me to update you on the implementation of the plan. As you know, it was very important to the president and me that the relief we delivered would be felt immediately and tangibly by the American people. And under the leadership of Gene Sperling, it is. As of yesterday, 159 million checks have gone out. By the time all of the money is distributed, more than 85% of American households will have received a check. At the same time, the $20 billion in funding to safely reopen our nation's schools, $81 billion has been sent out to the states to help schools get back to in-person instruction and address the learning, social, and emotional needs of our students. And there are millions of Americans who lost their jobs due to no fault of their own, and are receiving unemployment insurance through programs that would not exist without the American Rescue Plan. The American Rescue Plan is also making health care more affordable by reducing the cost of coverage for 9 million people who are currently receiving financial assistance. At the Department of Housing and Urban Development, Secretary Marsha Fudge announced that nearly $5 billion has been allocated to provide services to people who are experiencing or are at risk of homelessness and to help communities create more permanent, affordable housing solutions. So that is the end of the video, everyone, for now. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll do my very best to answer any questions you may have. Don't forget to enter the $75 Amazon gift card giveaway by subscribing to my channel, sharing the video, liking this video, and commenting below. Thank you so much, everyone, and have a very, very blessed day.